Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it seems that in our next stable release of Microsoft Edge version 125, you'll be able to boost your gaming with the new resource control setting in Edge 125, which has currently hit its beta channel uh, release. And beta is obviously the channel just before it makes its way uh, to stable and this is a feature we can I expect to see roll out, especially if you are doing a lot of gaming uh, in Edge. You may find this of benefit. Now, I have actually posted on this uh, previously where I mentioned in a video, which will be in the end screen, that uh, Microsoft will soon let you control how much RAM the browser can use. And as mentioned, is a handy feature for gaming and is now in beta. But just to give you a quick overview as to what the feature is all about in Edge Canary 126, which is the latest preview version. On your system and performance page near the bottom, under manage your performance, you get resource controls. And as far as I can remember, this is toggled off by default. So you will have the option to toggle that on. And the description reads, when this is on, you control how much RAM memory your browser can use. This can impact your browser's performance. So just take note of that. Now, choose when to control resources. You can toggle on when you're PC gaming. And I actually think this is the default when you turn on the feature. Controls how much RAM memory is used only when you're playing a PC game. And then always controls RAM memory use at all times. And you can control how much RAM Edge can actually use. I've had it at 3 gigs now uh, since I posted that video um, back at the end of March this year. So you can increase that to what you want. But obviously, I mean, we're getting now to six, seven, eight gigs. That's a bit steep for one browser. But nonetheless, I'm going to leave it at three for whatever reason, just to kind of experiment with the feature as I have been doing since the end of March. And one thing to take note of um, when this does make its way to stable, because as mentioned, it's currently been tested uh, in beta at the moment. One or two things to consider if you do use this feature. Uh, when you set a limit for the memory Edge can use, your browser functions normally until that limit is hit. In this case, three gigabytes. So when Edge hits the limit, the browser will try to reduce its memory usage. And you may notice increased page reloads with more tabs being slept and discarded. And then obviously setting a low limit. So if you really want to go low, a low limit may slow down your browser performance. So obviously if you are PC gaming, I think this may be a nice move in the right direction. If you are gaming a lot in the Edge web browser now, if you want to keep an eye on your browser's performance when this feature is enabled, what you need to do is a quick and easy way to actually monitor this is to head up to your browser essentials. And here you will see RAM usage. And there is the level I've set, which give or take is three gigabytes out of the eight gigabytes available on my system. And here you can see the actual usage of RAM, this little white little triangle here will move up and down accordingly as um, your RAM is used. And here you can see your RAM usage. So quick, to keep a quick eye on your browser performance, I'm currently using 320 megabytes out of the um, three gigabytes I've allocated using that um, resource control. So I know I have posted on this previously, but um, because it's now uh, one step closer to its possible stable release, I just wanted to keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.